year we had BBS, and Jake's group, Paul's group, and my group came right here to this soccer field or piece of concrete and ha had BBS outside. And uh, first we just started by playing soccer. Yeah. Some of the girls were playing volleyball also, like in a circle. And a, and a bunch of kids came out, about 30. And um, then we played Red Light, Green Light, which they had never played before. Jake and Michael led Red Light, Green Light. And they giggled so much. I've never I've never seen any of the kids giggle that much. I know we've only been here a few days, but it was awesome just to see their smiling faces. And they, they loved that game. I hope we get to come back and play again. After that, we sang some songs with them, taught them a couple of worship songs in Spanish, and some hand motions that go along with that. Then Tommy read them a story about the wedding feast where Jesus turned the water into wine. Um, James led an example with a cup, and he turned the cup upside down and poured water over it, and then uh, asked the kids why the water didn't go in. They said it was upside down. So then he turned it right side up, and um, was able to pour the water in, and he compared it to the fact that sometimes we face away from God, and we're not able to get poured into it, and we feel alone. But when we face God, and when we seek Him, then we can be poured into it, and we don't feel alone. It's a really cool example. James did a great job with that. Jill taught us a verse, Philippians 4.19, and the kids said it over and over again. They had hand motions with it, and then we played some games with the verse. We did uh, coloring, we colored a picture with fruit on it with the verse, and we also did a craft project. Sure that they're being discipled to make sure they really understand the commitment they made.